Hello beach friends. Today I'm going to take you to a beach we've never shelled at before, the Sanibel Lighthouse Beach. We're going to find two really squishy critters I've never seen before, a sea star, and of course we're going to find some shells, including some fossilized shells that are over a million years old. Let's go check out the beach. See that the lighthouse is all decorated for the holidays and you see the moon in the background there still is up we're out quite early on this brisk morning a little chilly i wasn't the only one who uh, got the memo that the tide was going to be low so there's quite a few other shellers out there with me all hoping to find some good stuff and i'm going to start off with a relatively basic atlantic cockle and we have a Florida fighting cock. He's a little bit beat up, a little worse for wear. The birds were having a great time. Oh yeah, they were loving it. As for me, I'm looking for some shells. Got this hinged disc docemia. It's a lovely little shell. What do we got here? Ooh, a tulip. What? <laughs> All right, somebody claimed it before me. That's probably one of those long-wristed hermit crabs. So we'll just admire the shell we can't keep and put it back. But what do we got here? Another banded tulip that I can keep. Yay! No critters, I checked that good. That's a fabulous little shell. Well, what do we got here? All right, definitely a keeper because there's a shell jammed in there. That is a juvenile. Florida fighting cock, cool zigzag pattern. Can't resist those olives. Gotta have, yep, I'm giving it the old gloss test. Make sure it's nice and shiny. It's got its point. It almost looked like a crown conch, but that is a beat up juvenile Florida fighting conch. Ooh, another olive. Oh, and he's kind of stained that dark color. I kind of like that. Oh, look at this little guy just kind of bobbing around. This is a short spined sea star. These guys are related to sea cucumbers and sea urchins. I know a lot of people call them starfish, but they're not related to fish in any way. And scientists always refer to these guys as sea stars, not starfish. So we'll just check them out, put them back where we found them. Off you go. All right, what else we got? All right, another Florida fighting conch. Ooh, he's real beat up. Yeah, <laughs> leave him for somebody else. So that's the sun. Sun hasn't quite come up yet. Like I said, the birds are really happy. I'm still really chilly, but still hoping I'll find something good. What do we got? Hey, Calico Scallop. Santa Bell always, always has those guys. Always. And a twofer. Looks like I'm picking up two shells, two paper figs. That guy's pretty nice. It's not perfect, but he's pretty okay. Mm, this guy's not quite as nice. Barnacles and mostly the discoloration. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with. So I'll leave him for somebody else. Oh. Big old piece of a tulip. Oh well, keep looking. And we have a juvenile, little tiny Florida fighting conch. I'll keep that guy. So that's the moon. The moon is still up. And there are definitely other shellers on the beach. I was not alone. That little tide pool you see there, I'm going to check that out in a little while. But for now, can't resist thinking there might be something in the water for me. Looks like an angel, well, most of an angel wing. It is an angel wing, just he's pretty beat up. So we'll leave him. 
What do we got here? It looks like a hinged, yep, a hinged Sunray Venus. I really like when these guys are black. Oh, that's really cool. So that guy is a keeper. Now this guy that looks like a pickle, this is a sea cucumber. I think it is a striped green sea cucumber. Again, it's related to sea stars and sea urchins and is squishy and weird looking. <laughs> So that is a critter. They are kind of interesting. I don't know all that much about them, but hopefully uh, I'll find another one one of these days and can learn a little bit more. Here we have just a juvenile Florida fighting conch. Oh, and an olive. Oh, I wish it was a golden olive. That shot would have been perfect, but it's just a regular lettered olive, complete with shells all jammed in there. Another Florida fighting conch. He's kind of chewed up and broken. No, I, yeah. Now that lady, she's wearing a coat. She is smart. She's wearing a hat and like a down coat that goes to like her knees. So that lady, smart. Me, not so much. <laughs> all right, this we have almost all of an apple murex. He's a little chewed up, but that's all right. He's still for almost all intent and purposes intact. Let me keep him. And look at this squishy guy. This is a sandy skinned tunicate. These guys filter seawater and eat suspended bacteria. So they help keep the water clean. Thanks guy. And what do we got here? This is a fabulous true tulip. Isn't that pretty? It's got a little, little rock or a little shell or something in there. We'll just kind of dispel that. Oh, that's a great find. Really happy with that. And then we have, <laughs> we have one that is not even close to being a keeper, but we figure we'll just check them out a little bit and put them back. Looks like another paper fig. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of beat up too. So we'll probably leave him. All right. Another Florida fighting conk. Yeah. That's a keeper. He's real cool with those zigzags. That's kind of a cool shell. And this was like shelling in chocolate milk. It wasn't really easy. I guess it's not terrible, but it wasn't perfectly clear. And I'm staying in the water because there ain't that much on the beach. So I figure it's gonna be my best shot of finding stuff. Another Florida fighting conch. And there was like a, like a stick or something in there. I was really at first concerned it was a critter, but uh, first do the inspection and you kind of give it a, a wash, see if anything happens. And I just held on to him for a little while. That's just like a stick or something. So that was a keeper shell. Woohoo! Oh, a little nutmeg. Yep, a little spirally guy. And a little serif. It's a fine little shell. Looks like another olive. Yep, another lettered olive. Give it the old gloss test. Looks like he passed the muster, so I'm gonna take him home. And sometimes when it's slow, I'll stop and slow down and maybe check out some things that ordinarily wouldn't check out. Those bubble shells are always around. Here we have a cone. Almost no color, but still, I'm going to keep them because that's the kind of day I'm having. Not all that much there. So now I'm in the tide pool. Yeah, I should have known better. So I figured I'd come up here and other shellers had already been here, but I figured, eh, couldn't hurt. Let me just poke around, right? See what we find. Looks like a Florida fighting conch. All right, he's kind of cool. I like that guy. Well, no critters, no giant buried shells. Bummer. I got a scallop. And a pear whelk that has seen better days. And on second thought, I figured I'd better check that guy out because I do like the ones that are that color. But he's kind of worn down, so we'll just leave him. And a beat up. I think that was a, yeah, it was a, 
uh, Florida, a lightning whelk. Ah. Okay, that is a little tiny paper fig. He's pretty intact, with a little bit of spots on him. And here we have a lace murex that has been kind of greened up by some algae and seagrass and whatnot. So check them out and leave them. Now here we have a big old sand dollar, alive and healthy. This is a five hole keyhole sand dollar. Oh man, that's beautiful. He's really big. So we'll make sure that he just makes its way back there to get bigger. Here we have a little crowned conch, wee little thing. Nice color. And this guy, this is a cut ribbed arc. I don't pay all that much attention to these kind of shells. And I think I'm gonna start because these are very, very, very common and I want you guys to know what you're finding if you do come down here. Here we have a real beat up apple murex. Mm, I'll leave him. And another paper fig. All right, he's kind of cool. Looks like he's got a pinhole in him. Yeah, he does, but I don't care. I'm still gonna keep that guy because he is pretty and he's not chipped or anything. I can live with a little pinhole. Yay. So the sun is now pretty much up, although <laughs> it didn't really get much warmer, but uh, I'm in it for the long haul and it's kind of slow for me. This beach never gives me good stuff, but I think I'm doing okay, all things considered. All right, got this little juvenile horse conch. All right, so I did get a horse conch. I don't know that that's exactly what I was looking for, but I did get one. And a big old angel wing. All right, we'll take that. That's beautiful. So there was nothing going on the beach, not much going on in the tide pool. I honestly, you know, we did okay. I got that, that true tulip, which was real pretty, but that was gonna kind of wrap up our time here, but we weren't quite done yet. On the way home, we decided to stop at the causeway because the tide was still very, very low. And it was definitely gonna expose more things that we ordinarily wouldn't be able to see. So we thought, eh, let's just stop and see what we find over here. Wasn't really expecting much, but I have heard that people have gotten the horse conks and whatnot over here. So might as well try, right? So it looks like I got myself a Nobilis Florida Fighting Conch. Who knows how old that guy is? And another one, another Nobilis one. Kind of old and discolored. Now this guy. Now we're gonna talk about something cool. This is a fossil of a mud snail related to a serif. That's its name. I'm not even gonna to try to pronounce that. Now these guys lived in the shallow sea that covered Southern Florida between one to two million years ago. But believe it or not, they're actually kind of common. Fossils from old phosphate pits across South Florida have been trucked all over in bulk. So this shell was probably one of the shells just dumped here for the parking lot area. I still thought it was kind of cool, so I definitely wanted to share. Looks like we found some other beat up things. Again, these are all, that's a shark eye. Um, all discolored, kind of bleached from all of the, uh, the color that it would have, but I kind of like them. I mean, not all of them, because they're just, they're old and some of them have all sorts of stuff kind of jammed in there, but there were shells there. I'm gonna probably keep that guy though. I think he's kind of cool. And plus it's an olive, you know. Speaking of olives, there's another one. Now he's not in terrible shape, so. There's some shells here, but definitely you're gonna do better off going to one of the, the proper beaches. I mean, it's just kind of neat. This is more of a beach combing exercise than anything else, not so much shelling, but I was interested just to kind of see what was washing up on the beaches over here. That's just an oyster, but it looks like a giant kitten paw. And this, I think, is a land snail. I don't know why. I couldn't quite figure out what it was, but for whatever reason, I'm really feeling like that's some sort of land snail. So there's some other different things over here on the causeway that was worth checking out. And another, now that's a crown conch, and that stuff jammed in it, that's like cement. So that's another discolored, weird old shell. 
Now we're going to get in to talk about something that's kind of cool. Now these abnormally dark gray and these bluish, isn't that, look at this guy. How cool is that? That results from these shells being buried in sand or mud with levels of low oxygen. So what happens is the trace amounts of iron that's in the shell will combine with sulfur to form iron sulfide, which acts as a dye, staining the shells with unusually dark hues. A lot of times they're black, sometimes they're blue. I just think they're really cool. And I'm definitely keeping that guy. Oh yeah, he's super neat. And this guy, believe it or not, that is a tulip. I bleached him and he turned out just fine. So I'm glad that I held on to him and at least gave it a shot. So the green definitely can be tackled with bleach. And this looks like another cut ribbed arc. Again, I'm gonna start paying more attention to those guys. We're gonna learn all sorts of new stuff. And then I couldn't resist because it's a little spiky, it's discolored. It's a spiny jewel box. So this was the haul. It was uh, rather small. I still had a good time. It was freezing though. Um, so we found a couple worm snails, a couple scallops, those paper figs. I like those dark shells. Those were really cool. Those were fun. And the true tulip. Look at how different it looks with the banded tulip next to it. They definitely are a little different. And those other weird colored snails and whatnot I found, or the shells rather. The hinged sunray venus. And those in the fossils, those were kind of cool. So I learned something new. That's always a good time, right? So I have been doing lots of shelling and I will be seeing you again soon, although I have something special planned for next week. So be sure to subscribe. Please, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, I would appreciate that as well. And I'll see you again real soon.